Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. Today we're going to try a mod that a viewer suggested to me. He said if you take a carpet tack and put it in the end of a slug, just like I'm doing here, it's supposed to go through armor plate. And this is a factory foster slug, probably with a velocity of around 1550 feet per second. And a viewer named Clyde sent me some of these lineman slugs, which are essentially gigantic lead pellets, and we'll try it with those also. We'll first shoot the lineman slug at a stainless steel plate that's a quarter inch thick. I think it went through it. We put a jug of water behind the plate to act as an indicator, you know, in case the thing actually went through the plate or not. Now these slugs were loaded into uh, just a standard federal birdshot shell, so the velocity was probably around 1,250 feet per second with these. Now stainless steel isn't a real heavy duty plate, a rifle round will go through this quite easily, but we really thought we went through it because of that big splash of water and it ripped a hole in the jug. However, this is the plate and you can see that it just left a dent in it. So I'm thinking maybe we just don't have enough velocity, so let's, let's shoot the foster slug next and we'll sh just go for broke and shoot it at an AR-500 armor plate. I just got a new camera and we're testing it out. It's kind of a pain in the butt because it only records for two seconds. And I know I'm just going to have to play around with this camera and get used to its functionality. I normally use the Casio EXF1s and those are great because you just hit record and it'll just keep recording and recording for as long as you want so I can run several of these cameras by myself without having to run over and quickly hit the stop button. Eventually I'll probably do some kind of a review on that Sony RX10 II and show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it especially regarding the high-speed camera features. Here's the AR500 armor plate. Really hardly any damage to it. A slight dent. So unfortunately the carpet tack modification is just a rumor. And here's another sample shot I got. A guy shooting an AR15 with the RX-10 II. Pretty good imagery so far and I think once I get used to it it'll work really well. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.